Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. RHOC Shannon Beter sends Alexis strong message amid olive branch. RHOC star Shannon Beter has sent Alexis Bellino a very strong message despite the latter's olive branch. The two will never see eye to eye, and with good reason. Now Shannon is letting Alexis know how she feels about this branch. Keep reading for all of the details on how Shannon shut Alexis down. It is no secret that Shannon Bedor and Alexis Bellino cannot find a common ground. At this point, it is not so much that Alexis is with Shannon's ex, John Jansen. Rather, it is how she fiercely defends John and his bad behavior. She claims to know everything and anything about John and Shannon's relationship, which may not be true. In the past, Alexis, now ex-husband, Jim Bellino sued Shannon and Tamara Judge. This cost the women hundreds of thousands of dollars. Therefore, an element of trust is missing and now, John is suing Shannon for $75,000. Furthermore, Alexis revealed he has footage of Shannon nearly running over at his daughter while she was intoxicated. It feels like John is blackmailing and suing Shannon while Alexis is making it all about her. She doesn't like her relationship being tarnished, but still sent Shannon and Olive Branch for her 60th birthday. Shannon gathered her co-stars, minus Alexis, for a brunch. Per people, a large bouquet from Alexis arrived at the table. Happy 60th! I genuinely hope this olive branch can bring you a fresh start as you begin this new decade. May God bless you with happiness and good health on this milestone. Shannon immediately rejected them and also opted not to invite her on a cast trip to London. Alexis Bellino was informed via text that they would all be headed across the pond, but she was not welcome to attend. Hello, Alexis. It's Shannon Beter. I am hosting a trip to Europe with my friends and just wanted to make it clear that you are not invited. That should be quite understandable given the circumstances. Thank you for the flowers, but I am not interested in any olive branch. To Shannon Beter, the apology was not only weeks too late, but likely a gesture John Jansen encouraged. That did not sit well with Tamara, who is friends with Alexis. Oh my God, we're gonna blame it on John. This is what Shannon does. Why can't Alexis just send her flowers to be nice? Shannon's exhausting. When Alexis Bellino is hanging out with Jen Pedranti and Katie Janella, she reads Shannon Beater's text. At this point, she is at a loss. In her mind, she believes that she has done all she can. You know what? I've tried it on all girls. Now I'm f ing done. What is she so hung up on? Katie and Jen encouraged Alexis and John to move on, but she did not agree with what they were saying. She maintained Shannon did this to herself. Had she just repaid the loan, things would not have gotten this far. However, Shannon does not believe it was a loan, but rather a gift, so it is very messy. Do you think Shannon was smart to not invite Alexis on the trip, or is it going to cause more trouble than it's worth? Let us know and watch RHOC Thursdays on Bravo. In the sun-drenched hills of Orange County, the air crackled with the tension of a thousand untold stories. The vibrant social scene was buzzing with the latest drama from the Real Housewives of Orange County, where friendship could turn to rivalry in the blink of an eye. And amidst this whirlwind, Shannon Beter found herself at the center of an unexpected confrontation, one that would send ripples through the already tumultuous waters of their tight-knit circle. It all started at a charity gala, a glamorous event held at a lavish estate overlooking the Pacific Ocean. The evening was a showcase of elegance, adorned with twinkling lights, sumptuous food, and the promise of celebrity encounters. As the women of RHOC arrived in their designer gowns, the anticipation was palpable. But lurking beneath the surface was an undercurrent of unresolved issues, particularly between Shannon and Alexis Bellino. 
Shannon had recently extended an olive branch to Alexis, hoping to mend the rift that had widened between them over the years. It wasn't an easy task. Their past was filled with sharp words and colder glares, each moment seemingly etched in time like a dramatic scene from a soap opera. Yet Shannon felt a stirring within her. Perhaps it was time to bury the hatchet, or at least try to smooth over their rocky history. As the evening progressed, guests mingled, laughter and chatter filling the air. Shannon spotted Alexis across the room, her infectious smile radiant as she shared a joke with a group of admirers. But when their eyes met, a tense silence fell. Shannon took a deep breath, ready to face the woman who had been both a friend and a foe. She stepped toward Alexis, her heart racing with a mixture of hope and anxiety. Hey, Alexis, Shannon said, her voice steady despite the storm of emotions swirling within her. I'm really glad you could make it tonight. Alexis's smile faltered for just a moment, replaced by a flicker of uncertainty. Thanks, Shannon. It's good to be here. There it was, the flicker of hesitance that spoke volumes. They stood at the precipice of a fragile truce, each waiting for the other to make a move. The noise of the gala faded into a background hum as the two women faced off, their past like a shadow looming over them. Look, Shannon began, her eyes earnest. I know things have been rocky between us. I've been reflecting a lot lately, and I just wanted to reach out. Life's too short for grudges, right? Alexis studied Shannon for a moment, her expression unreadable. I appreciate that, but you know we've had our differences. It's not just going to vanish because of one conversation. Shannon felt her heart sink slightly. I get it. But I want you to know that I genuinely want to move forward. Maybe we can start fresh. An olive branch, if you will. A flicker of something crossed Alexis's face. Could it be hope? Or was it skepticism? You know, Shannon, that would be nice. But I think it's going to take more than just words to fix this. Trust isn't built overnight. As they spoke, their surrounding social circle began to take notice. Cameras flashed, capturing the moment, and the whispers of the other housewives wove through the air like a gossamer thread of intrigue. The audience had been waiting for this, a showdown, a reconciliation, or perhaps a mix of both. Shannon knew the stakes were high. A misstep could ignite the flames of drama that often consumed their lives. I understand, Shannon replied, her tone earnest and sincere. I'm not expecting everything to change immediately, but I'm willing to put in the effort. You've always been a part of this group, and I'd hate to see us at odds forever. A faint smile returned to Alexis's lips. Maybe we can try but it's not just about us. There's a whole history with the other ladies that we have to navigate too. True, Shannon nodded, grateful for Alexis's openness. We've all had our moments. And if we can find common ground, maybe we can help the others see that too. Their conversation shifted, moving from tense exchanges to laughter as they shared stories about past events some of which were filled with their collective cringeworthy moments on the show. Each laugh seemed to chip away at the icy wall that had long divided them, a fragile but welcome thaw in their relationship. Meanwhile, the other housewives, sipping their cocktails and observing from a distance, exchanged knowing glances. Tamara Judge, with her signature wit, leaned closer to Vicki Gunvalson, do you think we're witnessing a genuine truce or just a temporary ceasefire? Vicky, ever the skeptic, replied, only time will tell. But Shannon's never been one to back down from a fight. This could blow up in her face. Back at the epicenter of the burgeoning friendship, Shannon took a moment to reflect. Perhaps this was the turning point she had hoped for. Could their fragile alliance flourish into something more substantial? something that would last beyond the confines of the show. She wanted to believe that this olive branch was more than just a symbolic gesture. Just as Shannon began to feel a sense of relief wash over her, 
Alexis leaned in, her tone shifting to something more serious. Shannon, I want to be clear. I'm willing to work on this, but I won't tolerate any backhanded comments or passive-aggressive digs. If we're going to do this, it needs to be genuine. I promise, Shannon said, the weight of her words hanging in the air. I want this to be real. I don't want to repeat the past. I'm ready to move on, truly. Their eyes locked, and for a moment, the world around them faded. It was a silent understanding, a promise to each other that they would try. But just as quickly, the moment was interrupted by the boisterous laughter of their friends, dragging them back into the whirlwind of the gala. As they turned to join the others, a sense of camaraderie began to blossom between them. The tension of the past lingered, but for the first time in a long time, Shannon felt a flicker of hope, a possibility for healing. Little did they know, their olive branch would soon become a topic of heated discussions and debates within their circle. The housewives loved drama, and they would soon have plenty to talk about. As the night wore on, Shannon and Alexis moved through the crowd, laughing and enjoying the evening. A few wary glances were exchanged by the other women, but overall, it seemed the olive branch had been accepted. In Orange County, friendships could be as fickle as the weather, but perhaps this time, Shannon Beater had taken the first step toward a more harmonious future, one that could redefine her relationships, not just with Alexis, but with the entire cast. After all, in the world of reality television, anything was possible, and the next chapter was just beginning.